This video shows a Rosemount Model 3051S, the Supermodule Differential Pressure Transmitter, but it's a little bit different from some other differential pressure transmitters you may be used to seeing. Like all DP transmitters, this has high and low pressure ports for you to apply fluid pressure. It even has a process vent right here, a bleed vent you can use to bleed off uh, built up pressure. But what's distinctive about this transmitter is the antenna. This is a wireless differential pressure transmitter. It does not use 4 to 20 milliamps. It does not use even foundation field bus connections. There's no wired connections to this. It's all done wirelessly. It does have a display, so you can see what's happening in the transmitter, a digital display. And underneath the large cover on the back side is where you would plug in the lithium battery to power it up. And presently, this transmitter does not have a battery connected, but here's where it would go if it did. There are also some communication terminals you can use to connect this to a handheld heart communicator and communicate with the transmitter as you would other transmitters in this uh, product line. But normally all the communications are done with radio. Wireless technology. Of course there are several benefits of wireless technology. Reducing the cost. You don't have to have wires going uh, to the transmitter or conduit to route the wires in. But there are disadvantages as well. Um, the battery does have to re be replaced on a regular basis, and the battery does have a, uh, a lifetime that depends on the update rate, how often this transmitter actually transmits a signal out. Uh, this is a very new technology for industry. It's something that's being tested and probed for weaknesses and for benefits. It's something we're going to see, I'm sure, in the years to come uh, to a greater and greater extent. The advantages are just simply too numerous uh, to overlook.